You got the NBA schedule coming out. Uh, yes. You got marquee matchups. We're ready for the new NBA season, guys. So excited. So opening night, Cavs are, ba- are going to raise their banner, and Cavs versus the Knicks. So Knicks, Carmelo Anthony is going to watch his former teammate, J.R. <laughs> Smith, get his ring. <laughs> oh, man. Now, that's J.R. Smith, Iman Schumper, too. Oh, Iman Schumper, too, as well. Too, yeah. uh, the next, the next, uh, next hour will be uh, Spurs at Warriors, and we'll see the former champions take on the Spurs for the first time without Tim Duncan. So that's going to be a surprise matchup there. But the marquee matches that I'm pretty anticipating for is that the OKC versus Thun- OKC versus Warriors because mm-hmm. that is when Kevin Durant faces his old team with Russell Westbrook. And speaking of Russell Westbrook, he was, he resigned or renegotiated his new contract for like Three more years. Congrats to him. One why are you one clapping? Man. Why do you? Why do you? Why do you? That's not your team. A big Westbrook fan. I think he deserves it. He deserves, right? But I, you know, I would clap him for LeBron too, signing that hundred million dollar deal. Oh, he did too. Right? Yeah, it's so that's true. Like, you know, it's one of the again, it's, uh, one of the only couple players that have a thirty million dollar salary now. He's right? one. Yeah, he's one. I think people. Kobe and Jordan, it's, uh, and the couple of you that are have achieved that milestone. So congrats to him, even though. Not a big LeBron fan, so. So wait, what? What yeah. among among those two games, which which one are you more, you know, excited to watch? That, Opening well, game. That, that yeah. includes. The, well, there's also the Chicago versus mm-hmm. Miami because Dwayne yeah. Wade goes back to face Miami, and also uh, uh, Chicago Bulls versus New York Knicks. So we have that three marquee matchups: mm-hmm. OKC okay, versus Warriors, Chicago versus Miami, and Chicago versus New York. So wh- what do you guys think is the best matchup out of those three? It really de- depends on the. Um, no, what do you think? Pro- what do you? What me. do you think? Yeah, don't go. Just say it. Just say like, it. Oh, what do you think? What are you looking forward to? Uh, I'm a, I was a, I was a big Dwayne Wade fan, so in terms of, but to me, it's Spurs against the Warriors. It's just something that oh. you just let us on there. He was like, I was a great Dwayne Wade fan. But I mean, but like, Spurs. just because um, the Spurs have been that good, it's just, it was disappointing that they lost. That during the playoffs, but I think that this year will be, you know, a better year for them because they had uh, Lamarcus Aldridge has more time with the Spurs now to get used to the system, and now they're getting. I mean, a much more. I have to agree, man. Because it's going to be different watching. There's no Tim Duncan. Mm-hmm. How are they going to play without Tim Duncan? But, uh, but they're able to grab someone like Pau Gasol, like to have someone that's like that come that's, in. That's true, mm-hmm. right? Just just the transition. It was so smooth. The Spurs. Probably the only team in the NBA that can do this, like just transition smoothly from all, you know, from all their Hall of Famers, right? Even when, you know, their point guard with Tony Parker, Patty Mills is coming in soon, and like you know, and, and can transition really well too, right? Mm-hmm. So that's what I'm more excited about. I'm that. anticipating so, for that February 11th matchup versus o- for OKC. You know, when Kevin Durant returns to <laughs> Oklahoma City Thunder and faces. His former teammates, because him and Russell Westbrook, they have beef. Beef. Yeah. They have real beef. Because Russell Westbrook, you know how he found out uh, Kevin Durant left uh, th- the Thunder? He found out just like us, on social media, on Players Tribune, and he, no one, he didn't get a call. What do you think the like? What do you think the stadium will be like? All the fans. Oh, they're gonna boo Grant. right away because they, they haven't accomplished anything other than making a consistent playoff run since coming to Oklahoma City Thunder uh, until that. You know, injury between Kevin Durant, but that's pretty much like they're gonna have a, a lot of hatred against Kevin Durant. That's mm-hmm. gonna be, a, but that's gonna be <laughs> a great game to watch. I don't think they're gonna have a lot of hatred, it's just because of what Kevin Durant has done throughout his whole career. Oh, I totally disagree. In OKC. No, I, what I makes think you, what makes you disagree? Though? He he put OKC in the map. Like if you really think about it, OKC was like, Seattle was as good as it was because of Ray Allen, and then after they moved to OKC, they were. You know, they're, they weren't go, as much. OKC okay, like, Thunder is a small market team. They're exactly how the Cavs are. Uh, Cavs fans are when LeBron left. They're they're t- they're angry. They're no, mad. I don't think so. They're burning jerseys. They, they're they're no. ruining Kevin Durant's. Oh, no. it was not. I don't think it was no, that it was intense as no, because you know, LeBron. LeBron's decision was he. It was the way he did it was totally different from how Durant did. It. Um, Durant didn't, you know, he he made he didn't say Let fully me, that he was going to commit. I'll write this down, man. You but guys, I, you guys you know. think, you guys think <laughs> no, he didn't I, I get think any that hatred. OKC okay. fans will will respect him for what he did for putting OKC on the map. But there's still I oh, know that. Writing but all down, I know man. is that Westbrook. I, is, I'm going to remember that. All next I know is Westbrook is going to go game. off. I know he's he's going to he's going to get a triple double and he's probably going to score thirty in that game. So you're saying that you're saying that he won't get booed as bad, or you're saying it's not. 
You say you think when he will still get a lot of fans in OKC that are gonna cheer for him and it's gonna thank him for what he did.